Okay, guess what day it is? It's Friday. Or Saturday, if you live where I live. And, oh, got some new guns. I'm in the uh, proving grounds right now because it's... I like testing with the sausages. Let me just spawn a couple of these guys. Hold on. Wait a minute. And, uh, yes, you can see by my half-assed attempt at trying to organize things, we got some new guns today. So, let me just... Boop. This is the FN FAL, or the, the FAL, if you want to call it that. And uh, this was already in the game, but Anton decided for this update, this alpha update, to add two more FAL uh, rifles in the FAL family, the FAL family. So yeah, this is the original one. Everyone knows this one. It's pretty cool. Let's just... Uh, And, you know, it's got full auto. <gasps> Whoops. I didn't mean to shoot you. But, uh, yeah. So, that one is there. It's done. It's got the carry handle. That doesn't really work right now, but that's okay. So, what did he add? Okay. First up, he added a... Whoops. FN FAL Para, which has this nice little folding stock. Look at that. Kind of gets in the way of the... Uh, We'll carry handle there, but that's okay. And hard to grab it. But yeah, it's it's pretty much just like uh, an FNFAL, but just with a folding stock. <clears throat> Although there probably are more uh, specific changes that I don't know about. But let's add a magazine. Put it on semi-auto. Still sounds pretty good. Full auto this time. Put in a large magazine. Whoops. Not much you can do with it, because, uh, well, that'll be covered with the next rifle, which. I like, because, I don't know, I like rails, but this is the FN FAL Tactical. As you can see, there are lots of, uh, a lot of Picatinny rails all around the gun. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> I, f I forget how to do the bolt hold open, which is basically right on the touchpad. Right? So basically, you hold right on the touchpad. I'm holding right, this one right here, on the touchpad, and then you pull the bolt back, holds it open. That's called the bolt hold open. You want to release the bolt, you press up on the touchpad, which is right here, if you can see, up. So yeah, I always forget how to do that, but let's put in a drum magazine, all tactical. Again, press up on the touchpad to release the bolt. And uh, I set up a couple of uh, fine little uh, attachments. <laughs> there we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Here, let's start off with some iron sights. Oh, it does have iron sights. <laughs> well, I'm kind of used to the M4 not having any, like, especially the rear iron sight. But, yeah, so it has uh, iron sights on there. I don't know why I spawned these. Get rid of those. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, what can I put on this thing? Let's put in a big suppressor. Get the Uzi suppressor. I wonder if you can still see through the sights with this thing on. Yep, pretty nice. All right, I like that. <laughs> I don't know why I have special love for the uh, Uzi suppressor, but it's just pretty good. Let's stick a foregrip on here. Huh. Oops. Uh, probably right here. It's pretty good. Oh, actually, you know what? Ugh. There we go. My touchpad is not working correctly. And then I will put a flashlight. Really, you, I mean, you can put it wherever you want. I mean, you have about five rails here. One, two, three, four, five. Four in the front, so... I don't know, maybe you can put this here if you wanted to. 
Ooh, very nice. Where's my laser? Give me my laser. Hmm. Nope, that's not going to work. It's going to be blocked off by that site. Put the laser on here. It's a little off. Off the... Uh, off center because it's on the side, but uh, and you know what? I can. I guess I will put the laser right here, that close to where the hand grip is. Stick a flashlight there. <laughs> Looks kind of bulky, but since I am left-handed, it's going to go like this if I, you know, put it on my body somehow. Right? Okay. And, oh, let's get an ACOG on there. Nice, nice. And, uh, yeah, there you go. The tactical. So, yeah, this is going to be a very short video because these are the only two weapons he added. But maybe I might go and do some... Uh, let's see, hold on. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. I might go to the uh, rest of the probing grounds over there, the testing area, the arena, and play a couple of rounds. Oh, oh, missed. Any more? Oh. Ah. Very powerful. The FNFAL is a very powerful battle rifle. That if you don't uh, if you don't shoulder it properly, it'll go all over the place. Whoops. I don't want to hit the uh, <laughs> the chaperone there. Getting too close to the walls. All right, so let me just go test this thing out. Actually, I'm going to take off this flashlight, because I don't need it. Let's go to the arena here. Of course, I am on Team Shot Dogs, as usual. Uh, balanced. We'll do six versus six. And give me some, give me a lot of health. All right, so, let's go. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, I think the FN Para has a bipod. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I'm just gonna go with the uh, standard magazine. Well, that's not really standard, but I'm not gonna go with the drum mag. I don't know why I'm having trouble with that, but. Uh oh, somebody's got incendiary grenades. You're in my way, bro. Get out of the way. And suppress them. Give my guys a chance to. Whoa! Excuse me, but, uh, no. Whoop! Oh, someone's using a, uh, flashbang. 
Oh my guys are flashed. Oh my guys are banged. I don't know. <laughs> They're blind. There you go. I mean. <laughs> Oh no! Friendly fire! Oops. Am I out? Hold on. Let me, uh... Try and retrieve, uh... The para thing, because it has a bipod. I forgot to show that off. Oh, gotta spin around. Kinda sucks, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Where's the para? Ah, uh, here we go. Paratrooper. That's what it means. If you're wondering what that means. Uh, para. This will benefit with uh, the bipod. Oh, wait. It doesn't have a scope. <laughs> well, whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Suppress a little suppressing fire. Somebody threw a grenade. Yeah, the grab point for the uh, drum is a little weird. But I kind of understand why it makes sense like that. Because that's where the uh, little uh, latch is for the release, right? So you don't just grab it from here and pull it out. No, you're supposed to put your hand here and grab it like that. But it's kind of hard in VR, <laughs> you know? Oh no! Get out of the way, bro! I want that friendly fire! Blue on blue! Oh no, they're, they're pushing up! I'm going to take off the suppressor. Oops. It's kind of useless in this situation because they already know where I am at. Oh. Come on, bro. Don't do that to me. I'm going to move up. To a grenade. Ah, throwing grenades at me. This is really bad on my knees. I'm gonna have to squat. That's what I'm doing right now, I'm squatting. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh, it's a grenade! <laughs> Saw that grenade. Can you put this on the wall? No. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, someone threw a smoke grenade. Trying to uh, obscure me, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Yeah, he didn't see me, huh? He forgot about me. Ugh! Oh no! Ah! Take him out! Take him out! I keep forgetting I can release the uh, bolt automatically. The touchpad. Touchpad up. There we go. <laughs> I don't have to continuously keep pulling the bolt back, but it just feels so good, you know? When you slap that magazine in there, pull the bolt back up. Deployed some smoke, huh? Oh no! It's going into position! Oh! One of the bad things about VR, you forget that you have a thing strapped to your face, and suddenly when you want to move down, your controller hits your uh, headset. Oh. Oh no! No friendly fire there. Just get out of the way, bro. Oh, all these tracers. Oh, sorry, this is the uh, bullet trails. Huh. Forgot to turn that off. I just love doing this. I'm sorry. This video is probably going to be too long now, but. All right, one more magazine, and I will stop the video soon because uh, I'm having a little too much fun. <laughs> really, it's good for me, not so good for the video. Oh, I'm getting shot. Who's shooting me? Oh, I said one magazine, right? Okay, well, this one. This is it. All right, I'm just gonna put this here. Whoever wants to uh, use that can use that. <laughs> no, the Sausages can't use player weapons. But yeah, that's uh, that's the latest update for Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. A couple, two new additions there. The FN family just got expanded, <laughs> which is pretty nice. I like this. I'm going to, uh, before I leave, I'm going to go and save this. Oh, and I'm going to put a more reasonable suppressor on this thing because, uh, <laughs> that Uzi Pro is a little too big. There we go. Very nice. Oh. Let's just throw that one away. Put a full magazine in. Uh, actually, you know what? Before I do anything, I'm going to change this ACOG. I'm not a really, not really big fan of that. I like... Let's see, where am I? I like the Ghost DR. Actually, to be completely honest, I mean, it's got magnification that's adjustable, and you've got iron sights at the top. So, you know, 
if you ever need to not use the scope for close range, just use the iron sights. But then you can use the uh, magnified optic. You know. Oh. All right, there we go. Let's save this in the vault. Uh, ooh. I'm just gonna delete some of this stuff. Actually. No, I'll keep that. But I will scan this one. There we go. The FAL Tactical. All right, so there you go. Let me just go find out where my computer is. Really hard. With this headset on and stop the video.